Coming up on LSU Sports Showtime, spring football came to an end Saturday with the penultimate spring game in Tiger Stadium. We'll have highlights and break down all the action. And with the Tennessee Volunteers be the team to end LSU's SEC Series winning streak, we've got the latest from Alec Box. Plus, the history-making results from the LSU Gymnastics team run in the Super 6. All that and more, Sports Showtime is right now. Welcome to Sports Showtime, your source for everything LSU athletics. I'm Mary Claire Palmer. And I'm Brian Tompkins. Later we'll have results from this weekend's tennis and softball. But first, a scare for a former Tiger in Miami, Florida. That's right, Mary Claire. Former Tiger wideout Demetrius Bird was involved in a car accident in Miami on Sunday. Bird was placed in the intensive care unit in Jackson Memorial Hospital following the accident. However, according to a statement released by Athletes First, the NFL prospect is now said to be in stable condition and make a full recovery, and the accident is not expected to affect his draft status. In his last season with LSU, Bird hauled in 37 receptions for 513 yards and four touchdowns. Now on to the future of LSU's program. Tiger fans gathered for the spring game inside a cloudy Death Valley on Saturday. Tiger TV cameras were there and we're bringing you, up and we're bringing you all the highlights. The, the fans were there mostly we thought to see Russell Shepard. And Russell Shepard, the freshman phenom, did not, did not disappoint. As he starts out the game here, avoiding Raheem Alim, who seeks to tackle him, didn't work out for him. Russell would take that ball up the sideline, but the whistle was blown, so the play was stopped. Jordan Jefferson here with a 28-yard strike to Brandon LaFell, but I kind of know him kind of close, so I call him JoJo Mary Clay. That's because I'm cool. Charles Scott with the first touchdown on the day, a three-yard run here to put the white team up 7-0. Fans were excited doing some form of a dance that they like to do. Richard Murphy stumbles in here, literally, for the, the white team's third touchdown of the evening. The game wasn't officially put on ice until Russell Shepard throws the interception to Patrick Peterson. Patrick, going to call him a sophomore sensation. Takes the ball 69 yards for a touchdown. Russell Shepard, though, at, even after the interception, gets the spring football most improved awards, most improved over the spring. The white team had its day to shine, winning by the final score of 27 to nothing. Running back Charles Scott brought more of the same, leading the game with 70 yards on 11 carries and two touchdowns. Senior wide receiver Brandon LaFell pulled in five receptions for 59 yards. Both Perry Riley and Patrick Peterson held it down on defense with interceptions. The spring game concludes spring football for the Tigers. The spring game isn't as much of a competition as it is a chance for evaluation of the team's improvement. So for a deeper look at how the offense performed, we go to Sports Showtime reporter Tim Zimmer. With the LSU football team coming off a disappointing 8-5 season, the Tigers come into spring with a very talented and experienced offense. Jordan Jefferson comes off an MVP of the Chick-fil-A Bowl. Jefferson's speed and agility helped him throughout his freshman year, but with one year under his belt, his arm has improved greatly. Jefferson mentioned how he's become more of a leader on this team. I'm trying to be more of a leader, you know, um, I'm going to have to lead the team in the 09 season, so you know, I'm trying to be more vocal, you know, just try, try to be a leader. Also, the Tigers bring back Jarrett Lee and incoming freshman Russ Shepard. Shepard showed fans why his quickness is like no other. Also returning for his senior year is Brandon LaFell. LaFell had thoughts of going to the NFL, but wanted to return for a national championship. Man, I just, I just want to go out there this year. I just won the national championship, man. All them personal goals, accomplishment, that don't mean really nothing. If we go out there and go 75, 85 like we did last year. Airmel isn't the only thing that LSU's offense has to offer. They have a very solid running attack as well. Led by Charles Scott, the running game will be key to the Tigers' success this season. Also running backs Keelan Williams and Richard Murphy will have to step up in times when Scott needs a break. Les Miles feels his team will be well prepared for the upcoming season. They they showed uh, a, a great potential. It's nice to see a veteran tailback, uh, you know, run with uh, um, 
you know, strength. I think our offense is uh, potentially, you know, better than it could have been. Finally, in order to have a great running game, you must have a good offensive line. With Siron Black and Lyle Hitt leading the line, the Tigers will be in for many touchdowns this season. For Tiger TV, I'm Tim Zimmer. The White demonstrated good execution on offense, but we can't let their superb defense go unmentioned. For a breakdown of the defense's performance in the spring game, we toss it to Sports Showtime's Jeff Crowden. Fans came out in flocks to get a glimpse of what the 2009 football season has in store. What they got was a stellar performance by LSU's defense under new defensive coordinator John Chavis' system. Now let's start up front with the big uglies on the D-line, which may be the deepest position on this LSU defense. Anchored by senior defense and Raheem Alem, who finished third in the SEC last season with eight sacks. The starting D-line held their own against the Purple team, holding them to only 76 yards rushing while sacking the quarterback three times and holding their opposing team scoreless. This D-line will only get better when five-star recruit Chris Davenport arrives on campus this summer. Now we all know that the LSU's defensive line has great depth, but the area of concern that gave up a lot of big plays from a season ago was that LSU secondary. Junior safety Chad Jones hopes to lead this team in a few more big plays and hopes that this team can become a little bit more dominant. Well, it's definitely a tone. Um, defense always tries to set the tone on every outcome and every practice, you know. So um, just a mindset this year that we're just going to be dominant, be a dominant force, be a dominant squad together. So we're just going to turn it over to the season. Also in the secondary is sophomore cornerback Patrick Peterson, who has been dubbed the number one corner as he showed his tremendous skills in the spring game, returning an interception for a touchdown. It was a man to man, um, corners over. And I was going to slot receiver, you know, he, um, he ran a post corner. And I know when they roll out, they always try to throw it to the sideline. So I just sat on the route and picked it off and took it to the house. <laughs> now let's move on to the linebackers who held their own this spring. The Tigers returned three linebackers whose offense starts under their belt, Jacob Kuchera, Kelvin Shepard, and Perry Riley, which will bring a lot of stability to this position. Also in the spring, former safety Harry Coleman was moved to linebacker, which will add a great deal of athleticism and the ability to match him up against receivers and tight end and spread offenses. The Tiger defense hopes to build off of their spring performance and lead this team back to the top of the SEC. Reporting for Sports Showtime, I'm Jeffrey Crowden. The Tigers will open their 2009 season in Seattle against Washington on September 5th.